Hello and welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. My name is Kasha McDaniel and today I want to talk about how to create your magical movie room without those fancy seats. Now that winter and the holidays are upon us, a lot of us want to just hibernate because let's face it, it's just darn cold outside and it's dark. You want to stay inside, cozy up on the couch and watch some movies. I'm right there with you. And if you're like me, you want to be comfortable, have everything near you and not be interrupted when watching Die Hard, Harry Potter, or a new Hallmark Channel movie. Am I right? (laughs) So let's get into it. Hi, it's Kasha McDaniel, and I am a home stager decorator, and you're listening to the Creative Home Podcast, where I talk about staging and decorating and all things associated with your home. So take a listen. Okay, so how do you get that movie watching room ready? Well, if you are lucky, you will have a separate room, but others may not be so lucky. Some of you may think you need to shell out some dough on those fancy movie theater seats with the tilted floor. You know what I'm talking about. But I'm here to tell you how you can turn your living room, bonus room, or maybe office space into your home, in your home, into a movie night room. So let's talk about the things you would need to make it more comfortable. Starting off with comfy chairs or a couch. Um, You don't need a separate movie chairs for those, like, you know, those big ones that you see, especially in those renovated movie theaters where they have those big luxury type chairs. A comfy couch is really the most important thing. Um, We have a big sectional that we have in our bonus room that used to be in our rec room in the basement. So when we move around and change houses like we do, you try and kind of keep things so that you can reuse them in different spaces. And so that's what we did. We have a a rec room now over the garage. It's a bonus room, if you will. And it is such a comfy couch that lots of friends and family love just sitting on it and snuggling up on it because it is a big piece of furniture. So if you can get some, a comfy couch, comfy chairs, bean bags, anything like that is all you really need to help you create your movie room. Okay. And definitely have some blankets nearby too, you know, uh, maybe you have a stash of them, whether it's in an ottoman or something, or just kind of draped on the chairs, just have them ready to go. Maybe you have a closet in that room. You can kind of stash those blankets in there, but blankets are always, especially <laughs> when you're watching a scary movie. Yeah. You're hiding under those. Yes. Or like my kids, when they get grossed out by those kissing scenes, Yeah, (laughs) you need those too. (laughs) Obviously a TV and a TV stand is what you need in that room. Um, And internet nowadays, if you can get um, an internet connection to that TV, most important. So that way you can watch your favorite Netflix, Hulu, Disney, whatever, you know, you're gonna need some kind of access to the internet. Um, We have a a Wi-Fi, not a Wi-Fi, um, one of those routers that actually then connects to the TV to get the internet to it. So think about how you're going to connect to the internet if that's something that you need. We, our house is in um, North Carolina, in rural North Carolina, in Moore County, and the internet is spotty at best, especially during storms, which is when you ideally want to watch a movie, right? You're not going to go out there anyway, right? So yeah, so we rely on DVDs. So if you have a DVD player, blue, a Blu-ray player, something like that, we rely on those um, just because of where we live. <laughs> um, another thing you might wanna consider are speakers or a sound bar. I know for the guys, they're probably thinking, oh yes, you need a subwoofer and, and all sorts of sound bars and things just to make it the movie magic area, right? <laughs> I know. Yes, we have one of those too. My husband love his, loves his sound bar because, you know, when Star Wars is playing, you got to hear all the pew, 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 right? <laughs> um, another thing to add to make your magical movie room um, is movie room signage. Like I have these little signs that I found at um, Ho- Hobby Lobby. 
actually. Um, and it's things like popcorn and sodas and things like that. Things, the old fashioned type of things, you know what I mean? You maybe even get some movie posters if there are certain ones, like maybe after the movie has been shown, you can go to the movie theater and ask them if they'd be willing to, hey, can I get that Black Widow movie poster from you or whatever movie it is that you really enjoyed, right? So don't be afraid to ask or go buy them online, wherever you go find your movie posters. And that's another great way to turn that movie room into, you know, the thing that it's supposed to be, right? Uh, another thing to think about and add to your movie room is a mini fridge. And it can be stocked with drinks like sodas, maybe beer or wine for the adults, juice boxes for the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know my kids would be happy with some juice boxes in there. So does too. Um, so a mini fridge that's stocked with those kinds of items is great because it doesn't take up too much space. And then it kind of doubles as a, you know, as a little table, if you will, right? Any snacks that you can have in there. Um, you can have a basket of snacks. Um, I know um, friends of ours, when we go to the movie theaters, that they always um, fill up their pockets with leftover Halloween candy, and they bring that to the movie theater. So if you have leftover Halloween candy or just love candy in general, that's another great snack to have in your movie room. Obviously, if you can do popcorn, that's great. Um, some some homes, you're like, uh, no, we're not <laughs> leaving that mess there or the smell. Um if you can, you know, throw in the micro, a small microwave in there, great. If not, just make the popcorn in the kitchen and have the fun um, bowls that you can put the popcorn in. Um, even those plastic ones that look like they come from the movie theater, you know, look like movie bags. Um, that's just part of the experience. You know what I mean? So Halloween candy leftover or popcorn, any kind of snacks like that, it makes it feel like you're in the movie theater. You're just at home relaxing, right? And uh, another thing you might want to think about is to install dimmer lights, because while some of you guys want to watch the movie in total complete darkness, some just maybe want a little bit of light and dimmer lights are a great way to kind of, you know, make it a little bit lighter, especially for maybe the kids if they get scared about something that may be something you may want to think about as well. Um, and I mentioned the microwave already, but if you have a popcorn machine, we used to have one and it was fantastic. It made the best popcorn ever. Like it had the kernels, you know, you then popped it and everything like you see in the movie theater, you know, um, we had the, the popcorn, like the butter and the toppings and all that stuff. And, but man, that was a pain to clean. <laughs> it can be. Um, although my husband says that, you know, you can't just clean it. You have to, you know, season it. So it's going to be all gunkified. Eh, okay, maybe. <laughs> I don't know about that. But if you're brave enough to have a popcorn machine in there, I say go for it. Why not? It's all part of the experience, okay? So if that's something that will help you create your magical movie room, these are just a great thing to have in there to create the space. And if you love watching movies, this is something that you may be sitting in for, you know, a while and enjoy a whole lot, right? But this is also a great room if you're um, going to be selling your home. And that's a great room to show off as a movie room. You know, if you have the signage and you have the, the chairs and, and you have it set up like a movie room, it's a it's fantastic because the bonus room showing at a, as a movie watching area is a great way to show buyers how to use the space. Just make sure the room is clutter free and their furniture is arranged so it's not too crowded. But maybe you're not sure if your room is stage ready. Check out my free checklist, 30 easy tips to get your house ready to sell. Or for more information, you can always direct message me on Instagram at Blue Diamond Staging and Design or send me a message on Facebook, same thing, at Blue Diamond Staging and Design. So hopefully this gives you some great ideas to set up your own magical movie room without those fancy seats. We'll talk to you guys later and hope you have a good time creating and planning your space.